So today the official announcement came from Konami regarding Castlevania Requiem, which is Castlevania Symphony of the Night and Castlevania Rondo of Blood in a collection uh, digitally remastered for uh, 4K and 1080p and achievements trophies are uh, trophies actually it's just specifically trophies it's ps4 exclusive and it's digital only and <sighs> it's so hard being a castlevania fan you know i i will say that uh these these series that i really love castlevania mega man and metroid all kind of have this rotation uh, by the way, I'm sick, so I apologize for the hoarseness of my voice. I also just recorded like a three-hour podcast yesterday or something like that, so bear that in mind. You know, I think that Nintendo understands the market for Metroid and understands that, you know, they will put something out when it's good and when it's ready. And Mega Man... Oh, um, I, I think that their, the big issue with Capcom was they lost their producer and I think they were a little bit butthurt about it. Um, and so they just, they didn't really know what to do, nobody really stepped up. Um, but the thing is, is Capcom has always recognized Mega Man as a money maker. Even like, you know, throw together a, a slap happy collection of games and just toss it out there and it'll make Boku bucks for them. But here we have Konami, who uh, has made so many missteps over the years, uh, not just with Castlevania, but with everything. Konami has squalored their IPs and basically relegated their games to essentially fodder, if you will. All the hard work and effort that's been put into these games just basically has been left for re-release upon re-release and this recent Castlevania Requiem is basically a, a purely a cash grab um, it's tied in with the release obviously of the Castlevania uh, Netflix series season 2 coming out uh, the same day and I don't blame them for this I think it's a smart move business wise to put out something Castlevania wise to, to to take ownership of the brand that you created and say, hey, you know, I know we got this Netflix show coming out, but why don't you also play this game? I will say that Rondo of Blood in 1080p is kind of promising to me, but what I would have liked to see is them released the Castlevania Dracula X Chronicles that came out on the PSP. I would have liked to see that get remastered for 1080p because I just feel like it offered so much more other than just emulated versions of old games. It was a brand new experience with the 2.5D two, two Rondo of Blood. Um, it had a retweaked, retooled Symphony of the Night uh, with re-recorded voiceover work, which I believe, and don't quote me, don't quote me on this, I believe that 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 did replace the original, like, what is a man? Like, the goofy English voiceover. I don't think the English voiceover is, uh, is, the, is the same, nor is it unlockable. Like, I don't think you could play the original, but I, don't quote me on that. I, it's been a really long time since I played Dracula X Chronicles. You know, we're not getting the Saturn port, as far as I know, for Symphony of the Night with this recent re-release, so there's no Maria. Uh, there's no hidden chambers that uh, that are like secret chambers that were released with the exclusive Saturn version. So really, what does this have to offer other than 1080p and 4K and trophies? Um, it's not coming to Switch. It's not coming to Xbox, which why? Why not? Um, I, I must, I'm assuming it's some sort of exclusive that Sony signed with Konami on this. And, you know, the more I think about it, you know, Symphony of the Night has been ported time and time again, and I'm, I'm happy that it's coming out, 
Um, I'm very unhappy that it's digital only. Um, is it realistic to expect physical? Not in today's day and age, but if it was five years ago, I would have pretty much been hell, hell bent on physical. So, there's so many other games though in the Castlevania franchise that could get re-released. You gotta keep in mind that aside from Virtual Console, the NES, Game Boy, Super NES, Genesis games have never truly been collected and re-released like in Mega Man Legacy Collection for Capcom. Konami, I would say they most likely have all the source code and all the information for those games, but they're kind of like just relegated to the past. They're just kind of shoved aside. So if Konami really wanted to step forward and put out something phenomenal for Castlevania fans, the very least I would say is re-release all the old classic Castlevania games on one giant collection with an art book, uh, it, with as much art as you can fit. Of course, unfortunately there was a, um, her, uh, not a hurricane, uh, there was a, a tsunami or an earthquake, it was an earthquake. And uh, all of the, or a, a good chunk of the old, old Castlevania art was lost uh, in this earthquake in Konami's old headquarters. So, you know, I don't expect them to dig up stuff that, that has never been seen before, of course, because there's very little left. But to me, the Castlevania series now is, is a relic of what Konami was. And taking aside the reboot and Lords of Shadow and all that stuff, it's clear that Konami realizes that their IP is going to make them money. So why not invest the time and energy into doing it right? If you're going to release a compilation of games, release something that's never been re-released before in a physical collection. And I think that that's the smartest way to go about this. You can only bump up the resolution on some of these old, old games so much. But there's just so much loss that, that I feel like it's going to be lost to time with the Castlevania series. Take for example uh, the oddities like the Kid Dracula series uh, of games, the Famicom and, and, the, and the Famicom and Game Boy game, uh, Castlevania Legends, Castlevania Circle of the Moon, um, you know those older games that uh, were like in the late 90s uh, the, that whole era, Castlevania 64. It was like the only way you could play Castlevania 64, I'm pretty sure, is from the original cart. And yeah, I mean, you could emulate all this stuff, but we're talking about re-releasing with the official company's backing. So I guess what I'm trying to say is I expected better from Konami, but at the same time, I'm not shocked by what we've received. So the ultimate question is, am I gonna buy Castlevania Requiem. Well, I think that's going to be up to the price point. If the price point is, I don't know, $15, I can justify it as a huge fan of the series and to show my support to Konami. Plus, it'd be kind of cool to get those trophies and, you know, 4K with uh, 1080p. I don't have a 4K TV, but 1080p sounds pretty good. So, that I think is ultimately my issue is what's the price point going to be? If it's under $15 or $15 or $14.99 or whatever, I think I could get on board with that. But I just want Konami to know that you could have done so much more with your IP. You have millions of fans of the Castlevania series that are just clamoring for you to do something new, something exciting, something that's not mobile, and something that's not pachinko. So, where are you?